friends. Uh, I'm Dr. Tamim. I have the privilege with uh, introducing to you Dr. Bharat, who's got second rank in Chipmar, gastro surgery. So, Dr. Bharat, uh, mm -hmm. please introduce yourself. Where you did your uh, UG, your PG? Yes. Uh, hi, I'm Dr. Bharat Kun. I did my uh, UG from uh, Adi Sundari Medical College here in Karnataka, 2008 batch, and I did my internship in Bowery Hospital, and I graduated MBBS in 2014. And uh, I sat for like around eight months for PG preparation, uh, and got through uh, to Jipmer MS, and I chose MS General Surgery, and I was always interested in uh, gastro surgery throughout. So I was always uh, keen on getting to to do MCH in gastro. I passed out in uh, uh, December 2017 from Jipmer, and for the past one year I've been uh, studying in, uh, at home uh, without working actually, and. Uh, yeah, I recently I on so, December second I cleared my exams. Uh, I think uh, post MS uh, gastro surgery is the one of the most sort of the field. Yes. So um, like and the number of seats also are quite limited. Yes. I think it's a combination of uh, the number of seats and the competition and mainly because throughout MS surgery everyone does a lot of gastro surgery cases, okay. so they are more interested in that field okay. which is which they are more familiar with. Okay. Uh, so that's why they all they all want to take. So up. many of them have this passion of doing exactly surgery. because they have done a lot of basic surgeries like hernia appendix. So they want to learn more, and uh, okay. that's what that's the field. So that how were you like were you preparing during your uh, uh, PG itself or? Uh, Actually, uh, in Jipmar, uh, there is no time to open your books. Okay. Uh, maybe the only time it is a hectic department. It is a very hectic department. We were like uh, slogging through throughout three years. Okay. And only two, one or two months before we studied only for our MS exams. So we had no orientation of uh, okay. preparation for MCQs and all those things. Okay. So I think after three years to go back to MCQs, it takes some time to get yes. the hang of it. I think uh, I'm much for me. I'm personally I'm more comfortable with MCQs okay. because I've been trained that way uh, during my PG preparation. Okay. So I was uh, very happy to be back to MCQ. Okay. So in uh, preparation for gastro surgery, what are the things that one should be focused on? What books do you think are minimum? That I think main thing for gastro surgery is you have to prepare yourself mentally to be ready to study for two, three, or even more number of years. Okay. Because it's like it's just one or two seats everywhere, okay. and uh, you can give ninety nine percent uh, hard work even, but still you need that one percent luck. Like also, so. true. That is the main thing for me. Uh, I I believe, in. and uh, that that can happen if uh, in any exam it, it can be there, it cannot be there, and the number of exams are also very less. So you should mentally you should be ready to uh, prepare for any number of years, and the most number uh, most important thing is you should be uh, you should enjoy studying the subject. True. You should have the passion for gastro surgery, and uh, if you don't enjoy what you're reading, uh, I don't think uh, it, it's easy to you know uh, get through the preparation. Like you know, Jipman used to be biannual, now it's become once a year. Yeah, they, they from this two months back, they announced the uh, circular that they want to make it uh, single, single exam. Single exam with uh, the the July uh, seats added to the, to the December. Okay, okay, but eventually there'll be two year, two seats per year. Two seats per year. So, um, uh, what books would you say? What textbooks do you think are really important? For? I think there's a uh, huge difference between preparing for NEET and preparing for the institutes like uh, AIMS, PJ, and specialty courses. Specialty courses. Huge differences there. Uh, if you are preparing for NEET, I, I think uh, two months of preparation is more than enough. Uh, if you want, if you are preparing for six months, uh, it will be more like a waste of time because uh, two months, if you read uh, Bailey through and through, at least three times. And uh, that is for the first 40 marks of uh, NEET super specialty exam. It's all from Bailey and a few from uh, Swartz also, but I think it can, it's more of a general uh, knowledge base. It, it can be answered without uh, Swartz. Bailey is the most important thing, and it's they are always framing new questions from uh, Bailey. So the, I don't think there's any point reading all the. Semester and No, most of all the MCQ books, MCQ books. the pre-testing and all these uh -huh. things. So, so they need to focus on Bailey for Bailey, 40 questions. Bailey. It's and always uh, 60 questions speciality. 60. The speciality part again is from Bailey. Same, uh, all the gastro, uh, most of the gastro uh, MCQs are from Bailey uh, and from Saviston. Those two. And now, since there are three hepatobiliary seats in from ILBS, so they are uh, concentrating on standard uh, hepatobiliary uh, MCQs from Lunga. So that is a must also. Okay. So I think Lungart is now becoming the central book for most specialty courses, yes. whether it's for NEET or whether it is for Yes, Lungart is very important. Okay. Other than Lungart, what other books do you read? 
Yeah. So I had always uh, con concentrated on reading for your institute. So I I had uh, started with uh, cycle four. But when I started for seventh edition, during the course of pre preparation, it got changed over to the new edition was released. And uh, so now again, as I saw the uh, MCQs from Ames and Jetman, more all MCQs from the new, were from the new edition. Okay. So new edition is a must for so people. So what were recent advances? Recent things have been added. Yes, yes. And they are given in much all the. All the things have been omitted from okay. the new, the new edition. Yeah, and uh, many people who have been read from uh, old edition are just trying to continue with reading the new ed uh, old edition itself. I think you really have to switch over. Change. Yeah. I think focus on the preface. Definitely. Find out what new topics have been added. Definitely. So Shackleford and Blomkart. Shackleford and. And uh, so for Jipmer, uh, where is the focus more on vocabulary yeah. more or on? Jipmer, the thing is, uh, uh, from hundred questions, almost fifty questions are from uh, Blomkart direct. Questions from Bloomberg hidden within paragraphs somewhere, so okay. you have to like you really concentrate. Especially there are two volumes in Bloomberg. The first volume is very important. The second volume is more of a uh, you know procedure based uh, and uh, and not many questions come from procedures. Not, not, none of them come from, from procedures. So there are principles of procedures that they are asked, like principles of liver section. But uh, the second half of Bloomberg is just the details of. Uh, the uh, procedure of labor sections. Okay. Those are not you, that not important. That's, that's not important at all. Okay. So, and uh, Shackleford, they have to read the whole thing? Shackleford, definitely. I think at least twice you have to read the new edition of Shackleford. And Bloomgut, I would prefer. These are big books we are talking about. How many hours were you studying? I, I uh, during my peak time, during the first six months, I, I used to read around uh, 12 to 14 hours. But then when I, I got neat uh, in July, I got 105th rank. Okay. So I was very really disappointed with that and I kind of slacked off. Okay. But I picked myself back from September okay. and uh, again I was back to reading in full intensity. I think the key is to uh, not, um, you know, feel be persistent. I think. You have to be persistent. You have to not feel sorry for yourself. I think I always remember Tamil sir's teachings from 2014 uh, when I was uh, attending this class. He used to always say, by the end of preparation, you should look back and see, you know, uh, and uh, you should tell, you should realize, uh, you know, you should never have any regrets of uh, how where you missed your studies. You should always be, no matter what your results, you should always be happy with how much you studied. I think that is very important. Yeah, that's very really important. Uh, so, uh, apart from these two books, should the, the students focus on studies? How many questions come from studies? Studies, I think, it's highly unpredictable. But uh, you know, if you're in, if you're having the free time, or you because especially in the new uh, editions, there are some new concepts uh, like uh, Haber Gamma approach for uh, new wait uh, and watch uh, approach for uh, uh, rectal cancer. All those things are new concepts, mm -hmm. and they have just mentioned the names of those things. So if you see something new like that, very attractive, so names, you, open the article, you should go and uh, open the original article. They ask from the direct original articles because these uh, fra are framed by the super specialists there, and they have seen these things in the conferences and everything. That's why they are, they carry that to the exam uh, framing. So you give the AIMS exams also. I mean the AIMS uh, super speciality and uh, some differences. There. there is a lot of differences. AIMS, uh, AIMS, uh, AIMS, AIMS don't uh, don't ask about uh, hepatobiliary too much. Okay. Uh, and uh, they, they are direct uh, concept, very good questions, very well framed concept based questions. Okay. They text your uh, uh, concepts from, picked up from cycle code. It's not much of memory either. So it's very nice questions okay. and that uh, mm -hmm. from cycle code. Okay. And, and AIMS, I, th I have to tell that a uh, lot of repeats are there. Mm -hmm. Every time they are asking 20, 30 repeats. So, people so previous have, was previous, I think there's a book uh, you were mentioning. Yes. There is one book, Kantamani Teja. It has, I mean, uh, it has a lot of uh, previous year questions uh, from the last three, four years. They, they have been all put together. They're very nice, well framed questions. But the only thing that I feel is that uh, answers, are, answers are, are not reliable. I think if you find the questions is more than enough, you can go back and look to all those things. But very important thing is you not spend too much time reading all the uh, discussions about it. Uh, once you read the subject, then you should go to okay. that book. So, uh, uh, any particular tips you would like to give for people preparing for gastro surgery? Yeah, because know, many many places it's not as hectic as Japan, yeah. and many of them have the option of preparing from yeah. um, PG course itself. For yeah. itself, they want to know yes. how to prepare. I think if you're if you have your time uh, preparing from PG, it's very important to start with your uh, 
concepts. I think we, we learn your concepts only from Shackleford and Bloomgard. Bloomgard is a very nice book. It is a very interesting book. I was really fascinated by reading Bloomgard, and uh, you, you you can't realize how time flies reading that book. So I think you can always uh, you know everyone says Bloomgard they think it's a big mountain to climb, <laughs> but it's a very nice book. Once you fall in love with something, exactly, and yeah, time just that, goes. That is the most important thing in a field like gastro, especially with so much competition and very little to opportunity to grab you should have that passion and you should always look to persevere in that so very uh, glad to have uh, met you and i hope the future students who are seeing this video are going to benefit from your experience thank you uh, any other particular thing that i think I, I have definitely have to mention tamim sir here yeah. he has really changed me in 2014 i remember sitting in his first class in endocrine energy when he came in his uh, institute uh, he always uh, he had introduced all the troppers to us. I I had all always had this you know chalta hai attitude you know, and uh, sir uh, really opened my eyes as to what it takes uh, in the field of MCQs and the field of entrance. You have to really give your everything, you know, and the key is to not uh, feel sorry for yourself. And uh, yeah, there are ups and downs, but then I think at the end when I look back on this year, it ha I had a very uh, low point when the uh, uh, results. results had come. But now I, I think it is all worth it. So it all worked out for you. Definitely. So, and there are some students who have this feeling that only people who are from top government colleges do mm -hmm. well, or from Bangalore Medical College, or exactly. from AIMS, or Moran Azhar. So, I think you are coming from, from Adhish Singh. I am coming from Adhish Singh. But you have, have done extremely well. Definitely. Sir. And I have colleagues from Adhish Singh who are also doing Who are also doing, who are also doing very well. And uh, I think that we are an example that we can all. Any college, it the, doesn't matter. The thing is that they all feel that when you start preparation, people have an edge. That is not at all true. All the theory things doesn't matter. We all start from basics and from fresh, uh, from, fresh from scratch and uh, true. Yeah. So, uh, how does it feel? How do your parents feel about pa this parents, is a single digit uh, rank, a yeah. second rank to get among thousands of hundreds of people are giving the exam? Yeah. Parents are not doctors, so they are extremely proud. Great. Yeah, they, but I know there are bigger challenges waiting for me. So I am just enjoying my last few weeks. I know it's going to be hectic and I am always ready to face new challenges. Uh, best wishes with you. I hope you Thank continue you. to grow and Thank continue you. to keep climbing. Thank you. Best sir. wishes. Always okay. a pleasure.